there, Melanie from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium here. Thanks for joining us today for On the Water. Here at CMA, we believe in preserving our marine life and environment through leadership in research, education, rescue, rehabilitation, and release. Hi again. We're in Rufus Beach right now, joined by our African great white pelicans, Ricky and Lucy. You may recognize them from Dolphin Tail 1 and Dolphin Tail 2. Part of our mission here at the aquarium is to assist other facilities with bird rescues. So let's catch up with Anastasia and find a little bit more about some local bird species. I'm Anastasia and we are out here on our boat Nicholas's journey passing by one of our spoil islands which we affectionately call Bird Island and you can see during low tide how it gets its name. Out here we have several different species foraging in the grass flats looking for tasty little crustaceans and even fish that have been trapped in the low water that they can feed on. Uh, we have several different species behind me right now, including uh, three of our white wading birds, our white ibis, our great egret, and our snowy egret. And they're a little difficult to tell apart because they all have the white plumage, but there's a few clues you can use to help you figure out which one is which. The great egret is uh, our tallest egret. It has a bright yellow bill and dark legs. It's very, very tall out here, um, rising above most of all of the other birds. The white ibis is considerably shorter and has a long curved bill. Sometimes it's like an orange red or a bright red and uh, they have a bright red face during breeding season. And then we also have the snowy egret and that is kind of in between the two. It's a very slender bird. It has a slender dark bill with dark legs and yellow feet, which you can particularly see when they stand up and start to fly, which is pretty neat as well. I mean, they have a lot of really fluffy feathers that they will uh, fly up during breeding season or if they're agitated uh, by seagulls or other birds trying to feed on their prey items, uh, they'll fluff up in that agitation and try and look bigger and more imposing. So one of my favorite birds out here is the roseate spoonbill and you can see there's a flock of them behind me now uh, doing their foraging strategy and they actually find their food by tactolocation. So they have these really neat spoon shaped bills where they get their name and they'll hold it slightly open in the water and then they'll actually swish their head side to side in kind of a semi-circular motion and as soon as a prey item touches the edge of that bill, they'll snap it shut around it. So they'll do that for small fish, crustaceans, aquatic insects, um, and they find their food primarily by feeling, although they do try and locate it visually as well. If there's a small group of fish, they'll actually run over to it really quickly and start gathering it up in their bill as well. It's our only pink bird in Florida. We do occasionally have flamingo here, but most of those are escapees from like private estates and things like that. We very rarely see wild flamingo in Florida. So if you see a pink bird out there, you're most likely seeing a roseate spoonbill with their uh, pink wash on their bodies and their very very bright carmine shoulders there. They're really gorgeous birds and they nest right out here sometimes even on Bird Island which is a really neat thing to have in our area. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode of On the Water. To watch more episodes visit us at www.seawinter.com slash on the water. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook to get a sneak preview of each new episode.